Peeps, welcome to another vlog. It's been a while since I've uploaded. It's been a little bit crazy here in the household of the Kenny Molotovs. We had the nephew over, we had the sister over. They've gone back to Montreal now, so it is back to regular uploading, fingers crossed. But we got a little bit of work today and we're doing a fixture we don't typically do here on the channel. So let's start our day. So first things first, I just want to thank you all for the support and sending me all those questions for the Q&A. I hope all of you got your questions answered. And don't you worry, I'm going to be doing more Q&As in the future. So if you didn't get your question answered as of yet, we will have opportunities to do it again. So peeps, today we're going to be doing a urinal, which is not a fixture we typically do here on the channel. We do get a lot of urinals where we got to snake them and we got to clean them and stuff like that. But this one's going to be one where we're replacing an old one with a new one, which is good because we don't get a lot of them and we get to see another one done. So let's get to work. Let's get this done. And oh, by the way, peeps, you know what to do, baby. Let's go. Next level. If I can just critique myself for just a quick second here, peeps, there's one thing that I definitely need to work on as a service plumber, and that is service truck management. Because if you take a look back here and into the disaster of what I call a truck, it, it definitely, definitely needs some work. Uh, also, by the way, I'm gonna need a steep tea. <laughs>
So peeps, if you take a look at the whiteboard, you'll get a pretty good vibe as to what's going on in this basement right here. So in this one particular washroom that we have, we have a soil stack that's going across the height of the building and across the length of the building. And what you'll notice on this rough fin is I have a water closet, I have a laboratory sink, and I also have a urinal here. The water closet is wet venting the lav right here. The water closet itself is three inches in diameter. It provides six fixture units. The lav right here is an inch and a quarter drain which provides one fixture unit, but because that this is a wet vent, you actually have to upsize this center pipe right here to two inch right there. And the urinal is a wall hung urinal. It's an inch and a half and it provides 1.5 fixture unit. So as you'll see here, you have the water closet going in, the lath comes down and wet vents into the water closet. They will have a continuous waste and vent that goes upwards like so. And the urinal itself is on its own and it will have an individual vent that goes up. One thing I forgot got to have is adding a clean out right here. Every urinal requires a clean out on the vertical section of the drain. That way you can actually snake down and break it all up. The difficulty with urinals is that they have a lot of calcium buildup in it because of the urine itself. So this vertical section of the pipe will actually crystallize on the inside and will not provide any drainage at some point. So you definitely have to have that clean out up there because if you didn't, you wouldn't be able to access it correctly. If you try to snake it through the trap, sometimes it won't even go down because of how difficult and how crystallized it actually is. If you are ever dealing with urinal cloggage, sometimes the best thing to do is go to a supplier and ask them for a special solution that they actually have, which breaks up calcium pretty well. And then what you have to do is individually vent it, run it above flood level rim, come across just like so, connect them both in a branch vent, and then run it upwards one more time, and then connect to the vent that goes eventually through the roof. So what you're seeing in this video right here is me essentially swapping out an old urinal with a new urinal, which was really a dream because it was the exact same size and all the dimensions were the same. So I didn't have to do a lot of tweaking overall. The wall hung brackets were already in the place that they needed to be. The drain was already in the section it needed to be. All I had to do was literally put it on, tighten them at the bottom, then connect the flush valve. Enjoy the rest of the vlog.